healthcare costs are increasing at an unsustainable rate, driven by an ageing population and increased rates of chronic disease. Health expenditure is forecast to rise by five-fold to $450 billion by 2050. The demand for healthcare can only be met through a highly trained workforce supported by innovative approaches to health, education and research. The South Australian Health and Biomedical Precinct will meet these challenges by developing critical infrastructure on a greenfield site to create world-class health, education and research facilities. The $2.1 billion new Royal Adelaide Hospital represents a lasting investment that will fundamentally change the way healthcare services are delivered for the coming decades. The adjacent Samri facility, currently under construction, will be fully occupied upon opening, providing world-leading research capability in cancer, heart disease, nutrition and metabolism, mind and brain, infection and immunity, healthy mothers, babies and children. The opportunity exists to capitalise on these existing investments to create the largest health and biomedical precinct in the Southern Hemisphere and significantly enhance the ability to attract investment, students, clinicians and biomedical researchers from outside Australia. When complete in late 2016, the precinct will accommodate over 800,000 patient visits annually, 6,000 students and will provide employment for 10,000 people. The development of the new RIH and Samri site provide an opportunity to link teaching, training, research, translational research and clinical practice through a platform of innovation, superior patient experience, commercialisation and investment. Samri is a collaboration of precinct partners as well as Flinders University and other research nodes. The precinct builds upon the synergies and long-standing collaborative partnerships that have been strengthened with the first Samri building. The second Samri building will accommodate the significant demand for research and teaching space unable to be met within the first facility. Samri 2 will provide flexible, high-performance research space, including for the CSIRO's flagship Nutrition and Preventative Health Research Group. Samri 2 will also accommodate a proton radiation machine for cancer treatment, which will benefit hundreds of Australian cancer sufferers annually, who currently need to travel overseas for treatment. The new Centre for Cancer Biology will allow Australia's leading blood cancer research institute to expand from 150 to 250 researchers by 2020. The $100 million facility will enable increased commercialisation and translation of research, produce an additional 250 PhD graduates over the first decade and generate education opportunities through outreach activities to schools. The Interprofessional Health Clinic will provide an extra 550 health professional graduates each year in critical areas including nursing, occupational therapy and physiotherapy. Simulated learning environments and integrated clinical training facilities will deliver more health graduates while reducing the strain of clinical placements in the public health system. The facility will form half of the foundation for the new shared curricula with Adelaide University based on integration of health service delivery. The Integrated Health Clinic represents the second half of the partnership with the University of South Australia, which will see over 2,800 students and academics sharing facilities and integrated curricula through the University of Adelaide and University of South Australia Integrated Clinical Schools. Interprofessional clinical training is an innovative approach to curriculum design, focusing on small group learning, flexible delivery and the interweaving of research with teaching. The Integrated Health Clinic will also house the new Adelaide Dental Hospital, which will treat 76,500 patient visits annually, an increase of 6,500 patient visits annually on current capacity. The master plan for the broader site, stretching to the River Torrens, has been designed in stages to enable construction of future stages based on demand and funding availability. The stage currently under funding consideration will unlock the value of surrounding land to promote private investment and further development opportunities. The unique Greenfield site has enabled the design to fully integrate infrastructure, shared spaces and connectivity into the built form to support the collaborative principles of the precinct. No other site in Australia provides this level of opportunity to integrate collaborative approaches to research, education and clinical infrastructure.
the South Australian Health and Biomedical Precinct will build on existing investments and partnerships to provide a collaborative, dynamic environment to support excellence in research, healthcare and education by fostering integration across organisational boundaries.